Hi, today we're going to be working on graphics card. This is an RX 580. We're going to be having a look at the Nitro and the Pulse Edition. Um, customer complaint, one of the fans stuck on 100%. So that's 3000 RPM, very noisy. That's whether the computer is gaming or idling or even posting before Windows. The fan is always stuck on 100%. When you look this up, a lot of people are going to recommend thermal paste, thermal pads. The fan is speeding up because it's overheating. The graphics card in question had new thermal paste, new thermal pads on the RAM and the driver MOSFETs. The card was running at a cool temperature and the fan was still stuck on 100% speed. Then the next recommendation would have been downloading software to control the fan speed like tricks from Sapphire. This allows you to undervolt, overvolt, underclock, overclock the, the card, adjust the RAM, as well as adjust your speed of your fans. Uh, the software had no effect on that particular fan that was stuck on 100%. Okay, so if we just have a look underneath here at the fans in question. So we have a four pin connector. We have a ground, we have a constant 12 volts. We have a sense and we have a pwm signal okay so unlike the three pin connector where the voltage is adjusted to regulate the speed of the fans this four pin is a constant 12 volts so your sense wire is a wire that takes the speed from the fan and reports it back to the graphic card tells the graphics card exactly how fast the fans are spinning then you've got your pwm okay so that is a pulse and that a signal sent from the graphics card to the fans. The fans have some circuitry inside, interprets that signal and adjusts the current accordingly to either speed up or slow down the fan. So when you have a fan that's stuck on 100% speed, it's receiving the modulated signal from the graphics card, but it's not working. It's not adjusting the speed. So it's like having a three pin cable plugged in. So what's the fix? Having a look at all these cables and daisy chains, it looks quite complicated, but the actual fact is you have one Phillips screw and the fan just pops out. You have four contacts in the bottom of the fan and you have four contacts, spring loaded contacts on the graphics card. Okay, so you get rid of your faulty fan, get in. A new fan this is the nitro fan that i took out of the customer's card that was stuck on 100 percent i got a fan from a pulse which is exactly the same size specifications and it worked perfectly the fan is regulated i can control the speeds using sapphire tricks no problem okay so for your information Part numbers for these fans is F for Freddy, D for Delta, 10015M for Mother, 12D for Delta. Like I say, the Nitro and the Pulse uses the same size fan. It's a DC 12 volt, 0.45 amp fan. And that's all that was needed to get this graphics card back on the road. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix. And we'll see you in the next one. 